Okay. Um, do you mind if I ask you some questions about your face? Risky. Yeah, I know. Can I ask you why? Why? Mm. You mean? Like, why are you a Muslim? Because there's only one God. Yeah, well, I would agree with that, but why Islam? Because there's only one God. Okay, so do you think that by being a good person, you can get to heaven? Uh, by following the commandments of Allah, yes. Okay, what are the ten, what are the commandments? Deen. What are they? It's not. Deen is to follow the commandments. Yeah, I know, but what are they? If, if if your way of salvation is to follow the commandments. You you are Christian. Yeah, I am a Christian. Okay, let me ask you one thing. Okay. For you, mm -hmm. it says that Jesus is God, right? Yeah. But in the Bible, again, it says Jesus learned about God. No, he didn't. So how does he learn about himself? He didn't learn about God. It doesn't say that in the Bible. See, this is the thing. You have to do your own homework because it doesn't say that. No, if you read, no, but it doesn't say that Jesus learned about God. It says Jesus is God, you know, and the reason why God came is that he came into his creation so that he could pay for our sin. You and I, we're guilty sinners. You say follow the commandments. I say, what are they? You would tell me, do not lie, be a good person. But I could ask you, I would say, okay, well, do you lie? And you would say, yes, so everybody lies. So how can we go to heaven by following the commandments? We can't because we're guilty. And you can say, yeah, but we just say sorry to God. But if you have a thief or a murderer and they go out and they commit a crime and they come back to God and then they say, oh, we're sorry. Does that, or not God, but say that judge on this earth, does that judge then say, okay, you can go free. No, of course not. They have to, justice has to prevail. So just like uh, you say to God, okay, I, I lied, but I'm sorry I lied. And then you say, you know, but you think, okay, well, I do this and I do this. I pray five times a day. I do Ramadan, you know, and then you think that makes you good. But it doesn't because out of your heart will come lust, pride, idolatry, anger, jealousy, lying, stealing. I don't know, like, I'm not saying you personally, but this is just mankind in general. And so no one is going to be good in the sight of God. He's holy. Go back to the beginning of Adam and Eve. The, the Quran says that the Torah and the Injil, the gospel, is God's word. Okay, let's and, go ahead. Call my friend. Uh, well, okay, fine. And then they say that God's word, uh, they say that the Torah is not God's word because it's been changed. But, it can't, but the Quran says that the Torah... And the Injil, which is God's word, can't be changed. So what is true? It can't be, you know, the Quran contradicts itself. But did you know that Muhammad claimed that he got his divine revelation while he was in bed with a little girl? What? He said that God's... So you look at the Hadith. Look at the Sunnah, the Hadith. Huh? Well, okay. Hi, how are you doing? I'm actually on Ramadan. No, no, no. Huh? I'm asking for assistance. You what? I'm asking for assistance. I'm on okay, I, I see you need help. All right. Well, let me deal with this and then we can talk, yeah? Huh? Let me deal with this yeah. and then we can talk. You come? Yeah. I, I wait for you? Yeah. Oh.
I'm okay. How are you? Good, good. So I was just talking to your friend and he said to come and speak to you, I think. He's, I was talking to him about the Quran and Jesus. So, um, you know, he said something about... He said something about Jesus, you know, how can Jesus be God if he was learning about God? But the Bible doesn't say Jesus was learning about God. You know, it doesn't say that. You see, you see, God created for himself a physical body. He was God in heaven, in the spirit, but he also at the same time created for himself a physical body so that he could come into his creation and suffer and die for our sin to reconcile us back to God because mankind is separated from him because of sin. So the sin debt that you owe God, Jesus paid that. You have to believe in these things for salvation. If you well, I mean, I don't know. I'm okay. I'll stand. Thank you. No, I mean, I know what the Quran says about Jesus, but there's massive discrepancy because in the Quran it tells you that the Torah and the Angel is God's word, and it tells you in the Quran that God's word can't be changed. Now, in the Torah and the Angel, which is the Gospel, is God's word. And it can't be changed, even though it contradicts what the Quran has said. When you talk to Muslims about this, they say, well, the Quran, the Torah and the Endeal was changed. Yes, it Okay, says. but how? But then your Quran is false because it's the Quran no, that says. No, but it's the Quran. It's the Quran that says that the Endeal and the Torah can't be changed. Okay, okay, okay. Give us the, the, the best from changed. the Quran where it's changed. I'll give the you Quran the, the says from the, Bible, the Quran. It's no, it's not been changed. I'll it's been translated. The There's you lots of the evidence. I'll give you the there's evidence. lots of evidence to prove Bible. that there's lots of different Bibles, Open lots of different Qurans. Open hold on, hold on, hold on, calm down. Give you the hold on, let's have a conversation. This conversation works two ways. You speak, I speak. That's what a dialogue is. Let's have a dialogue so about this. The Quran. the Quran. No, I said that the Quran says that the Injil and the Torah is God's word. And the Quran says that the Torah and the, uh, sorry, that God's word cannot be changed. Your Quran says that. So how can the Torah and the Angel, okay, according to the Quran, be, the Bible, be God's the Bible, words if it's been changed? Evidence. I'll give you the evidence. Hold on. Open your Bible. Hold Open on. Your Bible. If your Bible is not changed, I'm going to show you that the Qurans have been changed. No, we said. have different translations, just like you have different translations. We have translations copied from the Greek and the Hebrew, but we have manuscripts older than Muhammad. And if it was good enough for Muhammad, it should be good enough for you. But the reason it's not good enough for you is because it contradicts what the Quran has said. It contradicts what the Quran has said. No, we're filming. No, no, you keep filming. No, you keep filming. We're we're recording because do you know what this this okay, religion okay, is okay. deceiving people. Muhammad lied to you. I'm trying to. I want I want you to see the truth. Muhammad was a false you prophet and a liar. I, know, I want to give you the evidence. I want to show you evidence. I want you to give me the evidence. Your Quran says. Your Quran. No, so I was invited in. By who? By him. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. He said, "Come and speak to my friends." Open the book. Hold on. Verse seventeen, verse twenty-one. Now we ask you to say. Verse seventeen. Matthew seventeen, verse twenty-one. All right. Can you delete that? No, no, no. Who yeah, gave no, you the permission to come and study with him? I can leave. No, leave. no, can you leave? no yeah, absolutely no. How do no. you come and take a ticket to people? Who asked you who gave the permission? Well, we're recording. It's a public place. Who, 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 who invited you? Who gave you the permission? We just told you. 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 No. Can you delete this? No. Give me my video. Give me my video. Delete it. Give me my video. Look, delete it. Absolutely not. to get the Bible verse up. You just started freaking no, out. No, no, no. No, no, no it's too, no, late. It's too, it's too late. late. It's too late. You, you were hitting her. me. They were hitting me and then you invited us in. He's lying. And, the and then they locked the gate. They, they locked the gate. the gate. We are live on YouTube. This is going viral. This is, we are live on YouTube and you are keeping us entrapped against our will. 
We want to leave and they won't let us leave. We won't let us leave. They won't let us leave. We've had to call the police. So we are, this is. They invited us in. They started trying to break our phone. They hit Sarah, they hit me. They locked the gate. They lied about inviting yeah. us in. Yeah. That is a lie. He's They're lying. Not lying. lying. He invited him in. He. The guy that hit me ran away. Okay, so now we can open, we can leave? No, no, we can leave, see? We're waiting for the police. We're waiting for the police. We're waiting here. We're waiting here. So we basically, we saw. I'm standing here. I'm talking to my other subscribers. Yeah, okay. Right, we got invited into. Um, I started talking to a Muslim and he said, Come in to my. Come and see my friend. So we said, Okay. I was asking him questions about his religion. So he said, come and see my friends. So we went in and we started talking to them about what the Quran says versus what the Bible say. And then they saw that Aaron was filming and they started freaking out and saying, turn that film off, turn that film off. And then the next thing you know, they started hitting me and they locked the door and they refused to open it. They've opened it now, but they called the police. So we're going to obviously wait here for the police. And uh, there's a little bit more uh, that they did, but we did some things. So I'm, okay. uh, I'll talk about it later. All right, so now we are live on YouTube. You're getting a this is this is Africa people. So show where we are because we'll show the location. We're in Lusaka, across the street, the Villa Executive Lodge. This is the mosque under construction. Show the construction so they know which mosque it is. And we were invited in here and they ambushed us. Mm. Yeah, and they started hitting us, locked the door, refused to let us leave. This is a religion of peace, everybody. They beat on a woman and this is their so-called religion of peace. They say, how can you insult our prophet? He's not a prophet, he lied. And I'm trying to tell you the truth so that you can have salvation. So that you can know the real Jesus. Jesus Christ saved souls. Jesus changed his heart. Jesus is the only way of salvation. I told you the truth. I told you that he was a false prophet and a liar and you don't like the truth. Why don't you like the truth? You think that's an excuse to beat a woman? You can't handle it. Someone disagrees with you. The man was hitting me. Well, you think that, okay, you know what? It's fine, because it was done in the sight of God. I fear God, he's a liar, I fear God. You fear the authorities, but you don't fear God. I don't even know Peter. So, well, it, it happens. And God is my witness. God is my witness. Jesus Christ will save your soul if you repent and believe the real gospel. He died on that cross 2,000 years ago, was buried and raised on the third day. When you put your faith, he ain't a prophet. He's the almighty God. He's the creator of the universe. He died to give you eternal life. He died to save your soul, to give you eternity. Jesus is the only one that can deliver you and set you free from your sin. You can't be good. You just proved you can't be good. You've got one in there lying, another one beating a woman, holding us prisoners and hostages against our will. That's your religion of peace. Shame on all of you. Uh. Lika will be here in half an hour. They were trying to destroy the phone until I deleted the video. I haven't... Um, and so I showed them me deleting the video. They were hitting me, trying to break my phone, because we yeah. was recording the conversation. Sarah, come And here. yet he invited us in. But the video is in the recycling bin. I know. Shame on them, shame on them. Shame on them. Is to see you lot get saved. That's it. I have no agenda. You think it's about proving who is right and who is wrong? You think I come all the way to Africa for the sake of it? No, you need saving. You lied. I asked you, how do you get to heaven? And you said, keep the commandments. I said, what are they? I said, if I ask you if you lie, what would you say? And then you said, come and speak to my friend. We come in and then you lie to everybody saying you didn't invite us in. You're a liar. You're a liar. I know Jesus. I have a relationship with Jesus. He saved my soul. He changed my heart. He gave me new life. He can do the same for you as well. He can give you a new heart. He can put his spirit in you and bring you into relationship. Yes, I have a relationship with him. I pray. I talk to him non-stop all the time. When he gave me the Holy Spirit, he would reveal himself to you. Jesus reveals himself to those of us that believe in him. 
You need to believe in the real Jesus. Study the scriptures. Islam is false. And you lot are proof of that. You lot are proof of that. Beating a woman, telling lies, holding us prisoners. That's what you were just doing. Uh, this is not the religion of peace. Muhammad was a liar and a false prophet. He claimed divine revelation while he was in bed with a nine-year-old little girl. I mean, seriously. We know paedophilia is wrong. And you're telling me that God 100, 400, 1,400 years ago didn't know it was wrong? Rubbish. You lot need to study and do your homework. Or you're going to burn in hell just like Muhammad. No, I've got to have eternal life. Not because I'm a good person, but because Jesus paid for my sin. Because he died on that cross and you need to believe that. If you want salvation, you need to believe that Jesus is God. You need to believe that he died for your sin, was buried and raised on the third day. These are the only things that will save you and set you free from your sin. You have to be born again. That's supernatural. Your religion don't save no one. The Catholic Church is as bad as Islam. You have to be reborn, made new. And that's a supernatural work of God that comes from believing in the real Jesus. When you believe that Jesus is God and that he died for your sin, was buried and raised on the third day, Jesus himself will save you. He is alive. He's coming back. But you have to be born again of his spirit if you want to receive eternal life. He is coming back. And you know what? Guess who's not going to be with him? Your dead false prophet. He lied, men lie all the time about God. Why would you follow the word of a man that claimed that he was hearing voices in his head? Jesus, there's so much evidence for Jesus dying on that cross 2,000 years ago. Why don't you do your homework and study it before you end up in the lake of fire? Salvation is so narrow. It's the most important fundamental issue we have. You think I wanted to come in there? I was invited in by him. But I came in out of love for all of you in the hope that I might be able to speak some sense into you so that you might be saved. And then you start beating me and knock me in against... Yeah, and then you start hitting me. Hitting me. That's your religion of peace, beating on a woman. No, you are shameless. Yeah. <sighs> I used to know, you know what? I will tell you the truth. I haven't insulted you. I just told you that your prophet lied. I haven't insulted you. You're the one that was beating me. Have I ever had a Muslim insult me? I just had a Muslim hit me. I just had a Muslim hitting me. I just had a Muslim hitting me. Hitting me. I just had a Muslim hitting me. No. I think any man that beats a woman needs to be ashamed of himself. But that's what Islam teaches, isn't it? That you can beat women. If they have said to you, you have just been wasted your time. What to hear? You think you can get to heaven by being a good person? You think you can get to heaven? I asked the same question to him. Do you think you can get to heaven by being good? How do you get to heaven? He said, be good. But to keep the commandments. And then he lies. And then he lies. And then he lies. Muhammad is a liar. And then he lies. He was a liar because he died. And then he lies. You're on YouTube. People are watching you right now, live. I have an audience. People are watching. Yeah. Mm. They played lock the door. You know what? They actually locked us in. They started beating us and locked the door. They started hitting us. I should say, not beating. It wasn't like a real beating, beating, but they were hitting us. And trying to grab the phones. Yeah. They're trying to restrain us from moving. I'm okay. Jesus, I, I, I don't fear man, I fear God. I fear God. I don't fear man, I fear God. You can lock me in there, you can beat me as much as you want. You know what? If you was to kill me today, I would go straight to heaven. You know why? Because Jesus died on that cross for my sin 2,000 years ago and was buried and raised on the third day. And because I believe that, I have eternal life. You lot are still dead in your sin. You need to be born again. And the only way you can be through that is through your faith in Jesus Christ. Muhammad is in hell. Oh, you're the ones that trapped us in there and started hitting us. We came in peacefully. We was asking questions. You just didn't like what we had to say. You just didn't like it. 
You didn't like it. You didn't like it. It's called love. The most loving thing I can do is stand up to your false religion and tell you the truth in the hope that you might be saved. Even if you beat me or do whatever to me, which is what you did do. Shame on you lot. And the guy ran away. The guy that did it run away. He's not here now. Yeah, praising God is with us in the game. They want, they want the police to come. So we're waiting. We're waiting. Because you, you think it's okay to beat on women. You think it's okay to hit women. To trap us inside. Invite us in and then lock the door. How nasty and how evil is that? No, they did. Invited us in and locked the door. I would never trespass. Do you think this place is an idolatrous place? It's evil. I want nothing to do with it. I didn't even want to come in. He said, come and speak to my friend. I did it. You know why? Because I care about you and I want you to be saved. And that's the reason why. That's the reason. I had no other agenda. No agenda. I gained nothing out of this. Nothing. But in the hope that you might be saved, I'm willing to sacrifice everything. No, I'm already... I have eternal life. And I have eternal life because Jesus paid for my sin. That's the reason why I have eternal life. Because Jesus suffered and died on that cross for my sin. That's the reason why I have eternal life. Not because I'm a good person. I'm a sinner, just like the rest of you. I was dead. And when I put my faith and trust in Jesus Christ, he gave a new heart. He put his spirit in me and he brought me into relationship with God. I have a relationship with him. I don't have religion. I don't need to pray five times a day. I talk to him as if I would talk to my father. I have a loving relationship with the most high God. He's my daddy. He's my father. I worship him. I have a relationship with him though. I know him personally and intimately. He teaches me. He guides me. He shows me his ways. He teaches me how to live godly. That's the fruit that came from being born again of God's spirit after Jesus saved me. No, you have religion. I have relationship. You need to exchange your religion for a relationship. Jesus will give you a new heart. You put your trust in the real Jesus, you'll get a new heart and you'll have his spirit. You'll have relationship. This is religion. There's so many religions. So many and they're all false. All of them. Not just Islam. Roman Catholicism, Jehovah Witness, all of them are rubbish. You need to be reborn, made new, become a new creature in Christ. And the only way you can do that is through faith in the real Jesus, not the prophet. He's God. He came in the flesh to suffer and die on the cross for your sin to give you eternal life. So anyway, you lot are catching the live show. I can't actually see anything. I don't know if you can. Um, don't worry about me. Jesus protects me. So, you know, they were hitting us, locking the door, locking us in, trying to be intimidating. All because they didn't like that we was filming. So the police are coming. We, we know the police in Livingston. We called them. Uh, it's so hot here today it's so boiling hot wow i really wish the sun wasn't so bright and then you could see better can you see okay <sighs> oh okay yeah 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 that's for the other phone, no, it's not on this one. Get the other phone out, message the me out and tell her to come on my lives. Well, I think we should talk to Costco and Liga first. They're coming, I just saw a message. They said if Liga would be here within half an hour, that was like 10 minutes ago. Oh. So he must be coming. He's in Lusaka already then. Oh, okay. I don't know how long we will be here until the Lord directs us somewhere else. But you know, this is what happened. So I'll just share a brief testimony. All right. So what happened was is 
Um, we moved into a new place yesterday and obviously there's a mosque opposite. So we knew that we were getting to conversate, like, you know, the, we wanted to talk to them. And we saw one of them, we were walking to this place and we saw one and so I asked him, I said, can I ask you some questions about your religion? And so I asked him, I said, how do you get to heaven? And he said, being good, keeping the commandments. So I basically started talking to him about the Quran and the Bible. He said, come and speak to my friend. So I said, okay then. So anyway, he went inside, so we followed him. And, you know, I started talking to them about, you know, the Quran says that the gospel, the Injil and the Torah is God's word. And, um, and that God's word can't be changed according to the Quran. But yet they say that the, the Torah and the Injil have been changed because it doesn't line up with the Quran. I said, so proves it, and either way you look at it, it proves that the Quran is false. Um, and, and so basically, I said, it proves that the Quran is false. Um, and so with that, they didn't like it. They were like, are you filming? Turn the film off. I said, no, no, keep the film going. We're not going to turn the film off. So then they were like, um, started getting really aggressive, trying to attack us, trying to grab the phone, started hitting me, grab me, um, you know, and, and stuff. And I was like, not backing so down. And so basically, uh, please are here now. And so, okay, so, all right, this is the police. So let me show you. So, okay, so I, I, I'll explain it. So basically we were walking to the market and we see a Muslim guy. So I said to him, can I ask you some questions about your religion? Just wanted to ask him about it. I said, you know, according to your religion, how do you get to heaven? He said, well, you have to be good, keep the commandments, whatever. So I started talking to him about the Quran and the Bible. And then he said, come in and speak to my friend. So I said, okay then. So we walked back with him, we followed him in there. And I started talking to them and I said, you know, the Quran says that the angel and the gospels are God's word. And the Quran says that God's word can't be changed, but yet you claim that God's word has been changed. I said, and then he said, are you filming? I said, yes which we was recorded. He said, turn that video off. And then they started to get really aggressive. But I didn't want to turn the video off because it's for our protection as well. And then they started getting aggressive. They started hitting me. And then they locked the door and refused to let and us leave. Take the phone. And, and break the said, phone. You were filming outside Well, I was filming already. outside already. So, so we, we just continued to film. film. And he said, come on inside. Well, when we were outside, he but, oh, okay, but he saw that I was filming and said, follow me inside. So, and yeah, so they didn't say nothing. No outside, but he, he We were recording already on the street. I was recording. We were recording on the streets already. So we were out in the streets, I was recording, he saw that I was recording, and he said... But even if, even if we was a right for recording, they still don't have a right to start hitting me. I'm a woman, they're a man. The man that hit me has run away. And then they locked the door and refused to let us this leave. Is this is the one, and he said he's lying. He said he didn't invite us in, but he's lying. But yeah. I, I, well, we were recording that way. We was recording down the road. But we were we were recording from behind you, and we was. We were walking down the street. So, but you didn't invite us, though. And the man who hit us ran away. The, 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 they, they, they locked us inside, went away, and he ran away. But he so, we're going to go to the police station. Okay. okay. And the rest of them both of us. Yeah. So are they come in as well? All right. Okay. Ah. Well, this is uh, something new. Oh. Okay. So. You still don't have a right to start hitting me. I'm a woman. They're a man. The man that hit me has run away. And then they locked the door and refused to let us leave. This is the one. And he said he's lying. He said he didn't invite us in. But he's lying. But yeah. 
Um, uh, well, we were recording that way. We was recording down the road. But we were we were recording from behind you, and we was we were walking down the street. So, but you didn't invite us, though. So we're going to go to the police station. Okay. okay. Both of us. Yeah. So are they coming as well? All right. Okay. Ah. Well, this is something new. Oh. Okay. So. Yeah. By the way, this is the best way of traveling. Can you do me a favor? Can you um, do something with that? Like, we're going to show it to them, restore it, but I, uh, can you save it somewhere so that it doesn't get deleted? Maybe. I, I'll hold this. You hold that. You're more. You know what to do with those ones. Um, You're from where? We are Christians, yeah. Hallelujah. The only salvation is in Jesus. Yeah, Jesus is the way and the truth. Amen. Yeah. I'm a Christian too, so. Hallelujah. I'm a Christian too. I go for this Seventh Day Adventist. Oh. book of Galatians? Galatians, yes. Okay, so in Galatians, what was the, the issue? Well, okay, you know... So I, so I was with the Muslims? So no, I was just passing through. One of my friends went there. I worked at the mosque? Yes. Okay. Yes. okay. Did you see what happened? So you read the book of Galatians. The Galatians. Yes. Yeah, so, not much though. Okay, so Paul was writing to the Galatian church, and he was saying, "Why have you started trying to keep, uh, earn salvation?" And the way that they were trying to earn salvation was, "We have to keep the law." Oh, the law. They were too much into the law. Well, they, they thought we have to keep the law in order to go into heaven. Yes. But what Paul said to them was. You were given the Spirit by grace, yes. so why have you departed from grace? Mm. Why have you started trying to do things to earn your way into heaven? Yeah. Why are you trying to be justified by your own selves? Yes. And so this is what Ellen White was teaching the Seventh-day Adventist church. Yes. She was teaching them that you have to keep the Sabbath, otherwise you're a lawbreaker and you won't go into heaven. And Ellen White taught a lot of heresies. And the problem with the Seventh-day Adventist Church is their affirmation of her as a, a source of uh, understanding scripture. And she wrote things like saying that Jesus put the sins, our sins on Satan. Instead of Jesus bore our sins on the cross, Jesus put our sins onto Satan. But we know from the Gospels that Jesus bore our sins and died for us. So this is what Ellen White taught. And even if you say, no, I know that Jesus died for my sins, that he bore my sins on the cross, the Seventh-day Adventist Church says, Ellen White is, is, is good for instruction. Her writings should be used to interpret scripture, but her writings say things like that. And so if you read what she wrote, it's, it's a problem when it comes to uh, 
what they're preaching. And so it is true that faith in Jesus is the only way to enter into heaven. Yes. yes. And, and there are plenty of Adventists who believe in faith in grace, and that's it, right? And it's by faith in Jesus, what he did for us, that we are saved. We don't have to keep the Sabbath. But the Seventh-day Adventist church does teach what Ellen White wrote as part of, as part of the charter of the church. And so I would encourage you, since you belong to Jesus and not the church, yeah, right? Yeah, you belong to Jesus, Jesus yeah. and you don't belong to SDA, you belong to Jesus, yeah, right? To Jesus. Well, yeah, so you can go to a Baptist church and, and what I'd recommend is look for yourself for the scriptures independent of SDA. Yes, yeah. That's true, but Lika should be here soon, and we'll see what's going on. I don't want us to record, so we're going to turn it off in a bit. But, um, so, keep us in your prayers, people. <laughs> we're at the police station in Africa. So, and the joy of the Lord is our strength. The religion of peace. They beat on a woman and they say it's the religion of peace. Rubbish. Proves it. So, anyway. Um, uh, so basically we're here because we was invite, We started talking to a Muslim about his faith. He said, come and speak to my friend. So we did. We were recording. They got upset with us recording. They started hitting us and trying to take the phone away from us. And then they locked the door and locked us in, and then called the police on us. Um, and so, and the police no, was like, "You didn't have you did, The police was like, "You didn't have permission to film." Um, you know, well, to be honest with you, like, they don't have permission to hit. Like, they're, they're not focused on the hitting, only on the fact that we film them. Um, you know, but no, I'm I'm always safe. Jesus is my Lord. He takes care of me. He looks after me, and because of him, I, I, you know what, it doesn't matter what I suffer, I have Jesus, and that I'm safe because of him. So, I don't fear man, I fear God. <sighs> and it's a, it's, a, it's a blessing to suffer for Jesus. It's a blessing to be beaten. It's a blessing to be locked up. It's a blessing, you know. It's a blessing. But this is the so-called religion of peace. It's rubbish. So we'll see what happens anyway. But I'm, I'm, I, you know, I, I'm not going to have them dictate in regarding my work and stuff. I'm no, but you know, it, we can't come inside there. No, no, I get it. But at the same, like here, yeah, fine. And obviously in there, but and they were the ones that invited inside, us we have in. To turn off the video. Yeah, they were the ones that invited us in. Okay. Oh, well, all right. I have to say goodbye to you now, people. Keep us in your prayers, just so you know where we are. Hold on, let me show you. This is where I am. So just so you know, I'm at the Amsterdam Police Station in Africa, Lucas, Lusaka, Africa. That's where I am right now. Just so, just so you know. Anyway, God bless all of you. Pray for us, and I will update you soon.